happens when I touch the starfish, poof, it disappears. My turtle is now a real starfish collector. Now, unfortunately, there's really no feedback. It's, okay, did I get all the starfish? I think so. Did I? No? Yes? Maybe? Uh, what I really need now is some kind of a user interface, right? I need to maybe tell the user how they're doing, you know, maybe how many starfish are left. I'd like some kind of a message, like a you win style message, once I've collected all of them. So, to do that, there's a couple of things we're going to set up. Um, we're going to add some text objects to the game next. In order to do that, I'm going to go back to the hierarchy, I'm going to right click, and create some objects. This is underneath the UI object, or the UI menu. Go ahead and select text object. This will create a text object. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on text. And I'm going to change this to maybe score text. So I'm going to use this to display the score. And if I double click on the text, actually it zooms out and shows me what it looks like. It's very strange because the text is almost in a it's in a different world. Right? It's like an overlay that gets put on top of the screen. Right? These letters aren't going to necessarily float over off to the side of the game world. That's okay. Um, first, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'd like to change some of the settings on Canvas. The Canvas is what contains all the textual elements. Um, click on Canvas, and under Render Mode, see how it says... Uh, screen space overlay. That's fine. Uh, UI scale mode. I like it to scale with the screen size. Alright. In fact, if I double click on the canvas, I can kind of see what that looks like. Uh, the text is really <laughs> rather small. If I were to say hit play right now, you just see a little bit of small text down here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the size of this, and change the font too while I'm at it. So with the text object selected, um, see how there's a, it says font Arial? This font file that I imported earlier, I can go ahead and click and drag it right on top there. Get a much cooler font. I'd like to go ahead and make this label a lot bigger as well. To resize some kind of user interface element, you click on the last object up, or the last button up here, looks like a rectangle, and I can just increase the size of this text object. And so give it a much bigger rectangle. I'm going to increase the font size, maybe size 64. If you can't see the font, go ahead and make it bigger. All right, I'm going to slide it over here. I'm going to change the text. It's usually going to say something like starfish left. I'm typing in some sample text so I know that the text box is large enough to contain it. Um, while you're here, other things you can change. I can change the color. Maybe I'll change the color to a blue. I'm clicking on that. Fits with the theme of the game. Now if I, if I zoom out, I see that this is taking up a much larger percentage of the screen canvas. And sure enough, when I play the game, it looks a lot better too. Alright, now I need to actually set this text. And we'll have this be handled by the controller script that we wrote earlier. So let's go ahead and go back into Turtle Controller. Um, first thing we need to do, we need some new import statements. So I'm going to be using, and these are different classes which contain some of the different methods and functions we've had. I'm going to say using Unity Engine dot UI. It's grayed out because I'm not actually using anything from it yet. All right, so I'm going to store a few different inter, uh, integers here. One of them is going to be, let's see, public uh, text object called starfish text. And I also need to store how many there are. So I'm going to do that in a private int. Private because this is something which the user doesn't need access to. The private, let's say, int starfish total. All right. So I'm going to set this value 
when the game first starts. So I'm going to do that in the start method. And then I'm going to adjust the text that is displayed depending on however many starfish are left. All right. So first, this is a bit of programming to determine how many starfish are on the screen initially. Um, to do that, I'm going to set up in the start method an array of game objects. I'll call it starfish array. I don't need this long term, so it's a local declaration. I'm just setting up an array to determine how many there are. Um, the game object class has a static method find game objects with tag. I love autocomplete. Then I'm going to check for everything with a tag star. Right, so this will look for everything in the game, tagged as a star, stores them in an array. The only reason I care about this is to get the length of the array, and that's the value of starfish total at the start of the game. So starfish total is equal to starfish array dot length. And once I know the honest goodness total, I can change the text in starfish text. So starfish text dot text is equal to starfish left in quotes plus the total number of starfish in the game. All right. So that'll display the honest goodness number of starfish left in our game. Now, naturally, we want to adjust this every time we collect a starfish. So once we're done with this line of text, we'll go ahead and scroll down to the onCollision method. Right, whenever you collide with a starfish, well, we should make some adjustment to that variable. Um, starfish total minus equals 1, subtract 1 from starfish, and then change the starfish left text. Starfish text dot text is equal to starfish left. I could have just copied and pasted this from above. Starfish total. Cool. So now, every time we collide, we're going to adjust the total and redisplay it in the user interface. Go ahead and save your code, head back to Unity. Now before we actually do this though, let me click on Turtle. Now remember, Turtle has the script. Turtle controls that. Um, notice that here, next to Starfish Text, I haven't actually assigned the specific object yet, which is containing the text. Remember in the code we defined another public variable, but we did not initialize that. Right, so I need to initialize it to the text object which displays the information. The easiest way to do that is to click on my text object. Huh, I thought I renamed this. I'm going to rename this as score text. Right, what I'm going to do is take score text, click on my turtle, and I'm going to drag score text over to where it says starfish text. Right now, so that variable in the code now references this object on the UI. Go ahead and save your project. Let's give it a run. Right now it says starfish left four, and there are in fact four. And when I collide with one, it goes down to three, two, one, and zero. All right. Good job, starfish. Or good job, turtle. All right. The next thing is I'd like to have some message that indicates the game is over, a you win style message. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go ahead and create another text object. I don't want this to be uh, contained within the stored score text. All right, I'll call this uh, win text. If you click on win text, double click on that. Um, notice it's got all those default settings, which I definitely want to change. Let me take a look at the canvas. Zoom in a little bit. All right, I'd like to make this a lot bigger. I'd like it to have the message "You win" displayed in it. You win. I'm going to change the font, and I can drag and drop my font file on top here. Make the message enormous, even bigger, even bigger. It's exciting that you win. So we should make it big. All right, 
white and I'll change it again I'll change the color to be a nice shade of blue once more all right so this will have the message you win centered on the screen now how do we activate and deactivate this message well, there's lots of ways you could do it but what I'm going to do is go back to my code Right, when the game starts, the winning text should not be visible. And then, once I win the game, I'd like it to display the message. So first, I'll set up uh, another public text object called win text. And then, when the game starts, um, let's do this in a simple way. Rather than changing the visibility, I'll just set the text to be empty. And so it's on screen, but it doesn't say anything. And later on, I'll check to see if the number of starfish left is zero, in which case I will set the text to say, you win. And so scrolling down to the on collision method, right, every time there's a star collision, I adjust that. I'll add a nested if condition. If the starfish total is now equal to zero, the win text should be set to say, you win. Oh, win text dot text. There we go. Go ahead and save. And let's try this out. Nope, that didn't work at all. This still says you win. Oh, the reason it still says you win. Click on turtle. I haven't actually assigned the win text yet, so it didn't know what to erase. Let's go ahead and click on your turtle, and then I need to drag win text over to here to actually assign this object. Now it's not enough to actually give it the same name in the hierarchy in the code. All right, so now all of those are set. Now I'll play. Notice that's gone. I'll go ahead and exhibit my killer starfish collecting skills I am a winner excellent happy turtle dance